Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to a new Dead Frontier 2 video. Like, we've just hit 8,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is absolutely fantastic. So I thought we'd do a little bit of a special for this. So I got in contact with Admin Porn, the main developer for Dead Frontier 2, and we're doing a QA. and a Now, the thing is, he, like, when we're speaking to him, he did say he's a little bit shy, so we don't really want to do a voice or anything like that. So I did a live stream the other day where we got questions from the community. We asked him for Discord. We got some, you know, messages on Discord and all that good stuff. I have all the answers I got them today, so that is what this video is going to be. So here is the Dead Frontier 2 Q&A with the main developer of the game. Let's get on with the video. Alright, so like I said at the start of the video, I don't have admin porn like, answering the questions. I, I asked him the questions, he gave me the answers. So I've got a friend in here, Jimmy Shreds. He's also a Dead Frontier YouTuber and streamer. Uh, go check out his channel. Do you want to say hello? Hello, hello, guys. There we go. So he's going to be the voice of admin porn for the Q&A video. Right, let's get started with questions. Is there any plans for a roadmap? I did post a roadmap about a year ago, and I'm mainly still sticking to what is in there. The number one priority for me now is getting the level 50 content update out. All right, so the next big update, the next big update basically is going to be level 50. Right, so as you also could also see on the screen, when the green circle is around me, that's me asking the question. When the green circle is around the admin pawn slash mother picture, that is Jimmy answering the question. If there's no green circle, that's just us two talking about the update. Will the map ever get a redesign so it feels more like a city rather than just a big square? It will probably improve, evolve over time as new area tiles types getting added, but I'm not looking to completely redo it or anything like that. The existing system took me a very long time and I feel there are other things that are more important at the moment. I, I can agree with that. What about you? I, I think uh, there is like, I'll say 50-50. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see the map improve a little bit. Like the, the thing that I was saying on stream the other day is how the roads are set are fine it's just the the open field parts in the center if you just remove them it'd be fine so it'd actually feel like you're running around streets rather than like like we said just a big square uh, what will the, the next big update be obviously we know that's going to be the level 50 content so we're going to skip that one will we see voice chat in game i would either ideally like to add this in eventually though it really depends on how affordable it will be in terms of the servers bandwidth required when I checked a few years ago, this was just too expensive to be viable, but it's possibly prices may have come down since then. All right, yeah. So obviously prices come down and it's not going to be too expensive, then yeah, it's a possible chance that it could come in. Um, if it comes down to coding and stuff, um, I do know the game that I used to play Mortal Online when they had voice chat, they didn't actually pay anyone to add voice chat. They got um, a student who was just looking for some work experience to do it. And honestly, the voice chat in the game worked perfectly. It wasn't the best. It weren't like, you know, voice chat on Battlefield Call of Duty or anything like that, you know, but it was it was decent. It was good and it didn't cost them a penny. So something to look into. Um, will we see guns on our backs anytime soon? Yeah, I think this is something I'm going to try uh, and add on soon as it will be super hard to do and will make the characters look a lot more visually appealing. All right. So like I said, it's not going to be super hard. So he's going to look into it. Um, this is something I'd really like to see in game because, like, for a, for a survival game, like, it's got to feel like you're playing a survival game. This is why I wanted backpacks in for so long because, you know, as it's a survival game without a backpack, it just don't feel like a survival game. Obviously, you, you know, you're going around collecting stuff. Where's that stuff going when you haven't got a backpack, you know? Something to think about. Right, uh, will we see barricading soon as we never have a chance to look in our inventory with zombies coming in the doors non-stop? Yes, barricading is high on my list since the backpack and prior trades changes were added. However, I think I'll be tackling the level 50 content first. All right, can't complain with that. Um, can we get unique rare drops from specific bosses so people don't skip and have to learn how to do harder bosses? Like, for instance, the Titan Claw is a melee weapon, or the Tendril Whip is a melee weapon, or just parts for crafting, you know, rare items. I'm not planning to add set drops to specific bosses, but I'm planning to modify the bosses and level brackets to make them difficult, more balanced. Yeah, so this is something I actually said on, like a very long time ago, that it'd be a, the game would be a lot better if like the level 30 area was just tendrils and titans, 
And the Titan, on like, if you was going to put the Titan in the level 30 area, obviously, honestly, personally, what I would do would take away the left swing, take away the overhead attack, and just give it the right swing back. Because so then it's actually a very difficult boss. With the overhead, actually, even just that overhead, because then it's not as hard as the Tendril, but, it, like, with the overhead, it's still got a bit of decent difficulty to it. Because that left swing is just pathetic. Will we see any special infected? If so, when? Essentially, the existing bosses will become special infected in the next level brackets. There will be also the new types of basic zombies as well. All right, so me personally, I really like this. Um, I actually said this on stream a couple of days ago. I think it was like three or four days ago. That the um, It'd be really cool if in the level 40 and 50 area, the normal bosses that we have now become special infected and up to level 30 it was just like a training area or whatever. So, yeah, this is really cool to hear. I'm really excited for that one. Um, any plans for adding Dusk? Yes, I'm planning to add some kind of wheel competition similar to the F1, but I'm not sure on what the specific rewards will be at this point. This will be something I'd tackle after barricading and level 50, most likely. All right, so something again that I've also said in stream a couple of days ago. This is a really good idea. Obviously, I want to see Dusk in there. But I think it'd be better rather than having a weekly challenge where it comes down to more no life in it than actually being a challenge. Rather had like rather add like a raid to the save zones. So say in the level 30 save zone, you go upstairs, there'll be a door, like you know, the, the raid door or whatever. And you have to get through you go through that door and you'll fight a mother. That'll open another door. You go through that one, you fight a fingers or something like that. That'll open another door. You know, so on and so on and so on until you've killed every single boss in the game with one inventory. If you leave the area, you have to start from the start. So then it's rather a challenge that anyone can practice for and get used to. Obviously, the last boss would be a tendril rather than it being a no life challenge. I think that'd be a much better idea. Um, any plans for adding cloaks? We've been working on clocks for months now. They're a real pain in the ass, unfortunately. The original plan was to use proper cloud physics, but this caused all kinds of weird problems and even seems to make the game crash for a large percentage of players. Most likely, we will probably just release them with old-fashioned skin animations, which will look less realistic, but I think it's worth it to avoid the bugs. All right, so again, with Cloaks, going back to the game I used to play Mortal Online, they did the same thing, so with, with their game, they had capes in the game, it's an old medieval game, and with that game, they didn't have any animations at all, they didn't even move. Uh, but people still rather had them than had nothing. So even if they don't move, I think people would rather have a cloak that don't move than rather not have a cloak at all. So, is there any plans for adding Gatling guns? I will never say never on this. I think it will be fun to have a very big weapon that also massively reduces your movement speed. With a spin-up delay to balance it out, for example. But I can see it coming for a very long while, yet as we don't even have ARs in the game currently. Level 100 content, perhaps. Alright, so that would make sense. If you've ever played Dead Frontier 1, you'd know the first Gatling gun that you get in that game is level... I'm pretty sure it's the one at level 100. I think it's called the Vulcan, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, that makes sense. Obviously, in number 1, we didn't have a spin-up delay, and we didn't have... Like, it didn't slow your character down or anything, but... Obviously, we don't know what this game's going to be like at level 100, so it kind of make, it makes sense. Obviously, I'm excited for that when we get there. We're a long way away, but we'll get there eventually. So, any plans for adding Grenade Launcher? Yes, this will certainly be added to the game. My thing is there might be a couple of these in the level 50 content update. Boom! There we go. Grenade Launcher's coming level 50. That's going to be sick. I'm really excited for that. Make some new builds, get some Grenade Launchers in. That is going to be fun to play with. So, any plans for adding crossbows or bows? I would like to add crossbows as well, but will probably be something for next year. Bows are a lot harder due to the animation requirements, so I would probably say no to those for the foreseeable future. Alright, so, to the person in the that was in the stream, if you're watching this, that asked this question, I, I basically gave you the exact same answer. Like I, I did say... Um, if he says yes or no to this, then he'd probably say yes to crossbows because they're easy, like, be easy to implement. But he'd probably say no to bows because of all the animation work that it require for, to be fair, a quite terrible weapon. Um, so yeah, it, it, I, I added the question in like you asked, but he gave the exact same answer that I gave you. So yeah, you might see crossbows, but you probably won't see bows. 
at some point will there be a short tutorial to help new players? Yep, that's been on my to-do list since 2016. It was actually on my to-do list for DF1 since 2008, and I never got around around it to do it. To do good tutorial with a bit of story or something like that, uh, it's very time consuming and it's not something that existing players are going to be excited about. So it's always something that seems to get put off. All right, so I can understand that. Obviously, newer players don't need a tutorial. They know how to play the Sorry, older players don't need a tutorial. They know how to play the game. They've got the max characters. But if you want to bring new people to the game, obviously, a tutorial would really help. I have seen some people say they really need a tutorial or whatever like that. So honestly, I'd say do this. Maybe after the level 50 content, so your players have something to do. But honestly, I'd, I'd definitely put this higher on your to-do list. Um, do you have any plans of bringing the Dead Frontier 1 hood to Dead Frontier 2 or just updating it so you don't need to keep checking your inventory to see your HP? Yes, there is a very good chance I'll be doing this soon. It's been something that players have been suggesting quite a lot. Yeah, so obviously everyone gets sick of looking at inventory all the time to look at health, so this this would be a really cool thing to add. Um, I, that's definitely going to be a game changer for a lot of people. Will there be any bosses coming from Dead Frontier 1 to Dead Frontier 2? The last batch of the enemies I had uh, made were all unique designs, so there won't be any from DF1 coming very soon. However, I will definitely like to add at least a few of them eventually. Alright, so, if you ever had a Dead Frontier 1 boss, add the Wraith. That would be a beastie boss in Dead Frontier 2 because of how, because obviously it's third, third person rather than overhead attack. Honestly, that would be a really cool boss, and that would scare a lot of players. And I'd really like to see that in the game. Will there be any damage indicators and DPS too as a further option? I might add them as a, an option, yes. But I think I prefer the game without them by default. Will there be any separate slots for gas masks and Kevlar vests? It was my plan to make these things separate slots, but I, I abandoned the idea after seeing just how complex it will be making things. For example, for the Kevlar to fit over the existing hoodie, it will need to be uh, way bigger. However, doing that will mean that a Kevlar equipped with nothing underneath will look stupid because the vest will appear three sizes too big. It also means that the straps for the backpacks longer fit, etc. Sure, you can adjust things or make multiple versions of each piece to fit with other pieces but at the same time goes on and more cosmetics get added. I decided that I need to keep the system simple going forward if I were going to have any hope of completing future cosmetic updates. Alright, so I can agree with that. Obviously, you know, it, it is difficult when you're trying to put clothes on top of clothes on top of clothes, you know, because of clipping and stuff like that. I'd say, honestly, don't worry about clipping too much. Every game has clipping. Literally every single game. is. There's no way around it. Um, but if you are going to keep it how you are, I'd, I'd definitely say add a second die option to your armor so people can dive their vests and dye their underclothing. And that is something I'd really like. Uh, will we see classes come to different tier 2, like Medic, Cop, Lawyer, and so on? Uh, no. I'm not playing on adding this. Alright, that's unfortunate. I would really like to see that in the game, but it is what it is. Uh, will the level 50 content be released with full open world? Nope, that won't be happening. Full open world is something I'd like to do, but it won't be soon as it will, be, as it will require another massive overall of the way the game works. Um, will level cap Updates coming smaller, five level steps, 35, 40, 45, or will it be one big update instantly jumping to level 50? I was previously going to do small steps, but after speaking with a lot of people, I think it will be more interesting to just do it in one big jump. I'm hoping this will bring back a lot of older players who already maxed out their characters. All right, so personally, I'd rather just see it in one big jump as well. Like little updates, me personally, I prefer smaller updates rather than waiting ages for one big update. But with something like Dead Frontier, when you're jumping from level 30 to 50, doing it in one big update makes it a lot more balanced the game. So honestly, can't fault that. Uh, is it is there any suggestions from the community that will make uh, that will be making it into the game? I have already added quite a lot of them, and yes, we will surely be adding more into the future. All right, so anyone that's watching the video and puts suggestions in Discord, obviously keep them coming. He does read them. He is putting some of them in the game. 
So keep coming with the course suggestions. Would you consider bringing proximity search so you don't have to look at stuff? Yes, I might do this at some point. That's something I'd really like to see in the game personally. Right, for the most important 10 out of 10 question that I know everyone is wanting to know the answer to, will we see an in-game Zero Life cosmetic in the store? There are like 1,000s of people offering me cash to the cloaks, and I still haven't managed to finish them yet. So yeah, I could probably find time to add one, but you will be looking at sometime in 2003, most likely. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. You heard it here first. In 2030, look out for Zero Life Cosmetics to come into the game. But yeah, that was the Q&A. That's all the questions that we asked him. That's all the answers that we got. Uh, Jimmy, thank you for the help. Um, like I said at the start, guys, check out his YouTube channel. He does some good videos. There'll be a link in the description below. Jimmy, is there anything that you want to add before we end the video? Yes, I, I really would like to see once the level 50 comes, like once the game is polished, I would really like to see a game, new game trailer for the game. That's like must must happen like that's what i think and i would like to see more of the uh, advertising for the game so that will be what i have in my mind to say yeah that's a good idea obviously more advertisement you get more players you're going to get that's how it, that's honestly how it works so yeah thank you for the help um so there it is guys there's a q a with admin porn obviously we know it wasn't his voice but uh, these are his answers i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you got the questions that you want make sure to subscribe hit that bell notification for future videos on Dead Frontier and similar games like this. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.